Okay, let's get started. Um, so before we do these tutorials, make sure you have this database, Northwind Raw Data ACCDB, saved uh, on your M drive. Uh, I, I made a folder just for these exercises called Tableau on my M drive, and the database is saved here. Um, okay, so let's get started. So the Tableau is here. Open it. Okay, so if it pop up any uh, dialogue, dialogue asking you to update, you can just ignore that. And then the first step is always to uh, connect to the database. In this case, access database and find the database in wherever you saved it. In my case, I saved it in my M Drive Tableau folder. Click open. And there are eight tables. We're going to add all of them. Um, so we start from the customer table and then we add the order table, which is the, the child of customer, other details, and products. We can also add a category table. And after category, we can add uh, employees. Shippers and suppliers. So all eight tables, they're all uh, joined together. And then we can start going to sheet one. At this moment, uh, we can just try something simple. So let's just create a um, simple diagram showing all the sales. Uh, according to the countries where the customers are in. So we can find the country under dimensions. Should be all the way down. There's a country and city. So if you just if you just select country Double click it, it will show you where all the customers are. Um, I'm gonna do more, but let's just save it for now. Uh, you can save it on your local uh, M drive, or you can also save it to um, a Tableau public server. <coughs> so, this is where I will save it because uh, once you save it to the Tableau public server, you can easily publish. Uh, all your analysis, like uh, they call it a viz um, visualization, uh, and can share by uh, share with other people. You can also just put it on the on the public server as a web page, or embed it into your uh, blog, social media. So it's very easy to use after you put it on Tableau Public. So let's try it. Save to Tableau Public as. Uh, you have to have a, a account first. Let's create one for free. So you can put my name there. You should put in your real name and use your University of Oregon email. I might have used it already. Let's see. Oh, not available. So I will try my Gmail. Well, actually, I will just use the one I already created, but you can go ahead and create your own. Just After you create a profile, you can just save it. So let me log in. Correct. 
There we go. So it asks you to extract the data. So um, let's just do it. You can just extract. You can save it somewhere. Let's put it in my M drive too. can just save it as whatever name it gives you. Still working. There we go. Save as so let's call it All right. So that's that's good. it and that's our first step um, now we can add sales revenue but remember the sales revenue itself is not in the database uh, so we can create this uh, sales revenue if you go to analysis um, create calculated field and then let's call this revenue and then this will be the quantity from other details. You can drag and drop it. Multiply by unit price from the same table. Okay. So now we have revenue here. So you can you can double click revenue. It will automatically figure out this is um uh, a measure, numerical measure, so apply to each country uh, with a size to represent uh, the actual revenue level. Uh, we can also color code it, so you can drag revenue again onto color. So the darker color means higher revenue. Uh, you can also change the size to make it a little bit bigger, just like all the tutorial we did before. color, you can change your opacity, All right? And you can change to even different colors, so if you like the red, the darker, the higher the revenue, All right? So we can call this sales by country. Save again. Okay. So later on you can share this, uh, but now let's just keep it this way.